Cartech, yeah, it's the best beat at CNET TV, but it carries a burden. People always asking me, hey, Cooley, what's your favorite car? And I never seem to have an answer ready. I hate that. So now we're going to wrap 2008 with a very special top five, Cooley's favorite cars. Starting us off the line at number five is the Nissan GTR. I would never own this harsh riding beast unless I had a chiropractor in the family. So why is it on my list? Sheer audacity. No car this year made the short hairs on the back of my neck stand up like this one. And I love that configurable instrument panel, designed by the same folks who did Gran Turismo, the video game. Number four, Porsche's Carrera 4S Cabrio. This was the first 911 to hit the CNET garage, and it actually delivered on the overhyped legend. That's a tall order. Best clutch and gearbox I've ever driven, and in a world choked with big dollar Luxo performance cars of all kinds, the 911 manages to remain unique without gimmicks. Number three, hang on to your hat there, cowboy. It's the Dodge Ram Laramie Crew. Forget the bed out back. Up front, there's cabin technology and comfort that are fantastic. Handsome new lines on the outside, those clever storage boxes in the side fenders, and oh yeah, it's like hell thanks to a big old Hemi. Opened up my eyes, I'll tell you. Number two, the runner-up, the 2009 Honda Fit Sport. Honda quality, great efficiency, amazingly practical, fun to drive, and cheap. It's the right car at the right time. Now, before we get to my number one most memorable car of 2008, here are the cars rated worst in tech by the CNET car team in 2008. Number five, the 08 Pontiac G8. Number four, the 09 Range Rover Sport HSE. Number three, the 09 Honda Civic LXS. Number two, also a Honda, the 09 Pilot. Ouch. And the crappiest tech car we tested in all of 2008, the 09 Subaru Forester 2.5. Now, my number one favorite unforgettable car of the year. It's the Maserati Gran Turismo. A bunch of you were aghast when I called it the best value in cars today. But add it up. A Ferrari-derived V8, the best automatic I've ever not shifted, a bespoke Poltrona Frau-clad interior, styling that's unique and gorgeous, and really solid cabin tech. If you have the money, this one's a no-brainer. Well, those are my top five unforgettables for 2008. Only thing better than those five cars are the hundred or so I'll drive in the year ahead.